Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Verdant Barry. Yeah, Verdant Barrier, people are gonna rush that to get Merc Treads, and then Syndra no longer has kill pressure. And then at that point, it becomes a scaling game. Syndra's mid game is really weak if she's not ahead in kills and stuff like that, comparatively to other mid laners. The history like of being such a reliable representative for North America at Worlds. Here we go though, Blabber's just walking up for oh, the dive. Boy. I love the gank, the wave set so well. Fun, shut it up, but who's gonna knock it down? <laughs> it's him, baby! <laughs> you cannot stop him! That was the most Yeah, and it, honestly, this is going to be a dragon stacking game from Cloud9, the way that Blabber has been pathing top to bot side, trying to help uh, Zven and Vulcan. Be a play being made. Yeah, Vulcan's here as well, but he's actually been up this side of the map for a while. Yeah, I think Impact needs to remain fairly cautious here because he knows he doesn't have a lot of support. Oh, oh 1v3, but now he can't get the kill out of it. Exhaust is down, the trap is sprung, and Cloud9 with the reviews that get it this time. It's a bait all the way. I think he knows he has to remain cautious. Got ultimate, he has now teleport advantage as well. So you see the gangplank mining a turret plate in payment for the attempted setup here by EG. Yeah, and everything, actually, ulti from GP. They're looking for a play on That's Jaduke. That's nice for Jaduke, knocking Blabber back, but Blabber flashing in, finds a slow, just needs a little bit more damage. Q has landed. That's an easy one, and Blabber will collect it. Yeah, this is turning lot yeah. more this gangplank, uh, and has been able to make up so much of that extra money that was afforded to Impact by merging and joining the rest of the team. Plus, because he went the Divine Sunder, does give you uh, the extra sustain there for the for the single target. Perks, though, good dodge on the stun. Yeah, they have to know that uh, Impact's already here. Should have spotted him by now. Indeed, he's in the front line, okay, so they will. Up. Cloud9, though, looking for this Dragon, but the tower is the first target here. Fudge ready with the ulti. Yep, and they're just trying to delay, but Dragon down to 2,000 health. Who's going to grab it? Vulcan going to miss the hook. TP coming in, but a little late, perhaps out of fudge. Sven finds one with the ulti, but Vulcan already low. Dragon goes over, Sven Skaran grabs it. Now Cloud9 looking for the fight. Impact with a big chunk out of Vulcan's health bar. Two-man stun out of his DK, lets the ulti rip. Shockwave finds two. In for Impact there, gets the damage down with the ulti. And the Nautilus up follows two, but somehow cooldown straight and across the rift, and no one's dead. Great kick there from Blabber to stop Impact from engaged, but the fight's not over yet. Look for Ignar, Impact there as well. Blabber now caught out of position. Goldrinka doing very well there to get his health back, and he dashes back to Sven. Get away, and they make this game that much closer. They were able to take away teleport advantage from the side of Cloud9. They also got the ultimate on Sven Skarin's back at it. Sven Skarin, oh, what a great ulti. Sven just caught out of position, just tries to farm the wave because there's nothing else to do. Sven Skarin finds one. Yeah, his team based after the previous fight and used his greeting for another wave. Say, oh, and the GP is coming in around the backside as Impact looking to try and finish off tower number two. Is going to get it. One more punch to the structure. We'll collect it. Fudge here alongside Perks, though. Maybe going to try and slow him down, but Impact should be able to weasel his way out. Does have Flash get slowed by the barrel. Now here comes Perk, Shockwave at the ready, rank two, Impact getting in there, pops him back with the ulti, now the Shockwave comes through, pops the W though, and Fudge is taking the tower, they're looking for it here, the Flash is down, they know they can get it, it's Perks that finishes it off! And great positioning by him. They're in a deficit, or at least, uh, you know, after a bad play. If they recognize they can't take a fight on the opposite side of the map, instantly, they don't waste time. There's just been so much fighting in these lanes. Most critical thing right now is try and track these supports. Both of them are going to be the big playmakers for their teams. Vulcan leading the charge here on the invade. Nautilus, Flash, Hook, and Ultimate all available, but he gets stunned up. Good damage there. Gravity gun down. Vulcan going to be the target. Fence Garen looking for the play. Gets exhausted. And now in the middle Ooh. of it all, the hook after the stasis. Makes it so easy. Perks clips another kill. Gets another in the ulti as well as impact is going to be the double. Damn well placed ultimate from Fudge. Because Vulcan getting out of safety, oh, getting out of danger. Well played there, but Svenskaren had no exit strategy. Yeah, meanwhile, Vulcan has the whole squad helping him get <laughs> out of there. And so it's an overcommitment from the EG jungler. This one misses, though. They're going in again. Ignar looking for the flay. Jazuke will find the counter kill, but Bravo looking for it. Gets the execution kill. Danny now forced to flash his way out of there. Cloud9 with Fudge The there. series are performing. I love that execution, that combo with the <laughs> Dragon's Kick plus the Gore Drinker. That Syndra's not getting kicked in. That Syndra's yeah, the impact has been ditching to be on the objective first, but this looks like it's just going to be a free Dragon over to Cloud9. And they're able to rotate. They do give up all that vision around Baron and the setup. 
but uh, at least they keep their split pushers safe for now. Hits That's him. A good ulti. They're going to go in for it. They find the hook, and Danny Quick Fingers won't save him that time. He thought he was out there. Have a lot of time. Perks ulti the Baron, by the way. He, he ulti oh, the Fence Scary. He that tried to ulti Fence Scary and whiffs. I mean, he's keeping him out, but Cloud9 have to finish this. Jazuke getting poked a little low. Yeah. Cloud9 may be looking to turn for the fight, but they're still on the Barons. Venom Blabber tanking it. Got to be a little careful of Fudge with the barrel, keeping them out. Cloud9, I believe they've got the objective, and in fact, they have. Fudge does so. Power play to just push themselves into the enemy jungle. Fudge has set up the bottom side. They'll take that. They're going to do as much damage as they can. And then they can... It's going to be the soul, though, acquired for Cloud9. And... You just have to feel with the advantage that they've been able to build up. Plus, still having 12 Thank seconds. You observers. This just shows how scary it is for EG, guys. And Perks, again, not going to shockwave the Baron. Is going to look to shockwave the jungler out of the area. Spence Garen going the long way around here to try and get something to happen. And Perks, look at the defense. He's found him. Now Spence Garen's going to start that fight with the shockwave connects. And that is so much wow. damage. Wow. Look at the offense. Seven to lead him. They take him down. They swap to offense. It's Vulcan in the front line. Tanking it up. He'll trade his life for Rignar as Suzuki is going to get zoned off by Fudge. And Danny and Impact are going to be left to the Wolves and the rest of Cloud9. The Dunker only comes in for Impact. Great face breaker, but Danny in stasis can't fight. They'll dodge out the incoming damage. The poke, their return is better. Danny on the wrong side of the rift, and it is no 1v5 this time. It is Impact going down. It is Cloud9 almost collecting the ace. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, since Garen. And I think it's worth going over and the... And again, and having the Ocean Soul are coming to finish it. Hey, this is what we saw when they went up against Golden Guardians. Much slower, play through your vision. In this situation, as you said, they weren't even interested in a 50-50. That was never going to be no. on the play. They knew that Svensk Garen had to walk into them. All right, here comes EG. Svensk Garen again trying to make it happen. Impact with the flank. Looking maybe kind of good here, but Vulcan goes in. Blabber on a rampage. Takes out one. He lives forever. The GA still doesn't proc. Finally will be given a second life, but Fudge is going to flash in. Doesn't have the flash to flash Q to ZK, but Cloud9 will take your Nexus instead. A very disciplined game number one, but at the end of it all, it is an overwhelming Cloud9 victory. Cloud9 opening up this series with a victory. The beginning of the game was definitely scrappy, but it felt like quite quickly Cloud9 take control and their macro to... Ex